for joining us for another edition of Divorce Today on DadsDivorce.com. Joining me today is Lynette J. Hoy. She's the president of the What's Good About Anger Institute of Anger Management. She's a national certified counselor, a licensed clinical professional counselor in the state of Illinois, and she's an anger managed specialist and consultant with, with extensive experience. She has trained hundreds of students and clients in anger and conflict management and has certified over 160 leaders throughout the United States and Canada as trainers and professionals in anger management. So obviously from your introduction, we're going to be talking a little bit about anger, anger management and forgiveness today. Lynette, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for inviting me, Stephanie. So I think we're just going to get right into it, and I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Uh, how would you define anger as opposed to chronic anger syndrome or other mental health issues? Yeah, well, well let me start off by saying that, first of all, um, anger is a normal emotion, and uh, it, obviously it can be manifested abnormally, but it is not a mental health disorder, and uh is not identified that way in the psychiatric and diagnostic manual. Um, so anger per se is a, is a normal emotion. It's a, it's a hardwired emotion. Um, you, might, um, um, you might state that it's, it's like mad, only um, it can range from uh, irritation or annoyance to rage. And um, and so that, that's how I would start off by saying a little bit about anger. And uh, and if you wanted a a Webster's dictionary um, definition, uh, you might say that it's uh, defined as an aversive state ranging from annoyance to rage. It's a strong feeling of displeasure and antagonism. It's indig indignation or an automatic reaction to any real or imagined insult, frustration, or injustice. Ends up uh, producing emotional agitation, which wants to express itself. So that's kind of a lengthy definition by Webster. Okay, and I know a lot of the guys that are watching out there can probably are dealing with maybe some anger issues in, in regards to their divorce. Um, and culturally, we tend to view anger as a negative emotion. Uh, what are your, what are your thoughts on this? Well, uh, the name of our book is "What's Good About Anger." We like to say that anger is a good emotion because it's a motivator, it's a change agent, and uh, we can transform it into uh, healthy, um, healthy manifestations which can uh, help us to achieve our goals, uh, help us to build relationships, and obviously uh, in society today we see it as being very negative. There's a lot of um, negative um, manifestations of anger in society through violence and abuse. But um, when we're talking about anger, we're talking about what's good about anger and, um, and using that energy to uh, help get, get to your goals, which are healthy goals. Um, and obviously, you know, you've mentioned anger is a natural emotion to feel, and especially during the divorce process, there might be several reasons we may, the guys may feel angry. Uh, what are what are some of the reasons that this may occur, and also um, how are ways that the guys can deal with this anger? Well, I think, and especially in a divorce situation, uh, there's a feeling of helplessness. Things are out of your control. Things are pretty chaotic and stressed out. Um, you're trying to uh, uh, achieve some sense of stability. There's a lot of instability. And so anger is a natural manifestation uh, that comes from all of those uh, um, issues that you're dealing with in a divorce situation. And there may be a lot of conflict going on. Usually there are. There's a, uh, not too many peaceful divorces going on that I, that I know about. So uh, have it, that lack of control and helplessness is really going to cause uh, a natural feeling of anger and wanting more control. Well, anger makes us feel like we're in control, and so that's why I think we like anger so much. And, uh, but anger, when it's manifested in an unhealthy way, doesn't get you to, uh, to your goals and doesn't achieve healthy relationships. Okay, and what point does anger become a negative emotional experience? What's the breaking point 